Hi guys, today we are going to see how to do the horror effect that we just saw. So let's get from the very starting. So the very first thing is that to do that effect, you have to have two different uh, video. So this is the raw video that you can see. Uh, this is one part of the video where you can see I'm reacting like this, right? And uh, let's go to the end part of the video. So again, what you have to do is that you just have to come back and you have to just give a different reaction with the very same moment that you did in the very first time. So these were the two reactions that I give. So now let's just go to how we did it. Okay, so now let's see that how we did it. It's a very simple thing over here is that uh, the first part of the video you can see that uh, till over here, till I'm coming towards the basin over here. What I just did is that I cut over here and added some intensity of smoke over here so that it will look a little bit better. And after that, when just the transition is going to happen at that time, I just put a transition effect over here so that it will be looking more natural. So after that, what you can see is that you can see over here, uh, over here, there is a masking that is present because of which in this layer, it is looking different. And in this layer, it is looking different. If I just click over here and go to video mask, you can see there is a draw mask over here, which is selected, right? And then what you just need to do is that you just see over here like this. This is the mask that I have created over here. So what will happen is that uh, it will, if I just hide this part of the video, what will happen is that this is the video that is playing over here. And this is another layer of video. If you don't know about masking, then I have taught about it in my previous videos. In just 10 minutes, you'll be able to know that how masking is done. Uh, what happens is that if two layers of videos are present, so suppose this is the top layer of the video, this is the bottom layer of the video. So if you place one layer over another layer and you put a mask over here, what will happen is that uh, suppose this part of the video, you have put a mask. So for this other, other part of the video, the top layer video will be playing. Right. And for the bottom part, you can see that the other part of the video is playing means the bottom layer of video is playing for this part and the top layer of video is playing for this part. So that is why that is the use of mask. If I just hide another video, the bottom layer, if you can see, you can see only this video is playing. You can see this is the top layer. This is the top layer video is there. If I hide this one, you can see uh, just hide this one. As there is masking over here, that is why this is the normal video you can see. This is the reaction that is uh, that is being given over, over here. So this is the actual video. This is the lower video. This is the actual video that is happening over here. I'm just giving the reaction and I am reacting like this. But what I have done is that I have put another layer of video. This is the reaction part. And what I did is that I put a mask over here and I put the second part of the video where I was reacting like this. If you look over here, this is the reaction. This is another video which I have just put above the uh, second layer. So that what will happen is that that particular part of the video will be masked and you will be shown whatever is present in the other layer. If I hide this one, you can see this is the top layer. This is the another part of the video as I have just masked it. That is why the bottom layer, uh, sorry, whatever is present in the top layer, that is only visible to us. The bottom layer is hidden. If I just unhide it, then the full video is played. And what is happening is that for the other part of the video, apart from where there is mask, you can see that the bottom layer is being played. But for that particular part of the video where it is masked, the top layer of the video is played. So this is how you can very easily merge two video. What you just have to do is that initially the very same way that I did. Uh, if you see over here, I took two videos, right? In the first part, what I did is that I gave this reaction. So this is the first part of the video. And second thing, what you just have to do is that with the very similar action, what you just have to do is that you just need to come near the mirror like this and then give another reaction. You can see that I have given another reaction. So this is what is being shown in the mirror because what is happened is that exactly the two part I have cropped and then I have just placed above one another and uh, one layer of that I have just masked through that what will happen is that for this particular part of the video for this uh, one second. So what will happen is that if I hide this one, so this particular part of the video, a different layer will be playing uh, this part of the video. And for the other part of the uh, video where the mask is there, another thing is playing. If I just hide the mask over here, you will see the same thing will be playing. 
okay over here as well if i just hide the mask over here what you can see is that nothing is there just the effect you will see the same thing is happening right this is the same this is different reaction that is showing over here but as i have put a mask over here if i draw a mask over here what will happen is that you can see that the reaction that will be visible over there will be different right and that is because of masking these are just the sound effects that i have put in very simple things you can just download it from the internet and you can just put it alongside just put it in the media layer and just uh, play it accordingly whenever you just want the beat at that point you just put like this dark piano tension is present over here and i have just put in another uh, sound layer that is known as the clown layer because of which you can see there is a clown sign that is visible over here okay this is muted you can see that this is the sound effect that has been placed so nothing it is just two to three sound effects that we have put in together and a little bit of transitions that we have added uh, that's it and a little bit of masking this is just by using these two to three effects you can make a lot of different kind of videos like this which will be looking pretty cool and pretty creative so if you want to learn more about it then please like share and subscribe and please stay connected with me because i'm going to teach in a very advanced level of all these things going forward a lot of different kind of masking effects different transitions at speed uh, reverse thing and a lot of different things are coming so please stay connected thank you so much